You're half an hour late. I see you still haven't abandoned the wrongful ways of humankind. I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Cloud Retainer. I... I don't need your explanations and don't require any mutual understanding between us. I'm just helping you with your training. That's all. Xiao is such a strict teacher. You're neither an adeptus nor a human, always treading the line between the two worlds. It must create a lot of confusion. Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. The body and the mind are one. If something worries your mind, your body can help you find a solution. The trial I've prepared for you will explore the true potential of your body. Yes. I'm ready. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... <sighs> I have to do what? Uh, another one of those pesky visitors. I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. Pesky visitor? So even here there are those that Xiao can't deal with? Oh, oh heavens! Blessed be Rex Lapis! I've finally come upon the Adepti! Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Uh, great! My name's Sin Chung. I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O oh Adepti. I beg of you, please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. Oh, so it's a pilgrim! He can handle any battle, but talking to strange humans is a different story, huh? I... am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect! I didn't come in vain then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted, it uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Wow, straight to the point, huh? Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family, instead of chasing after fairy tales. Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who pose as an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? Ugh. How dare you reprove me? I bet you came here looking for the Adepti yourself. Mm, he might sorta have a point. We did come here looking for Ganyu after all. Eh, enough. Doesn't matter if you're a real Adeptus or not. You're useless. I'm leaving. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. Uh... Ganyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. Uh, it's not his behavior. The things he said... He was right. I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an Adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I... <sighs> but... I'm unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. As an Adeptus, I... It's true! Just believe us! Uh... All right. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. We're finally back! Uh, 
I'm still... Come on, Ganyu! We're almost there! You don't want to turn back now, do you? I suppose you have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. That's right! Where do you want to go first, then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Happy to come with. 